Good morning guys and welcome back. So I've had this question a few times before and someone messaged me on Facebook. Can you do a video on cleaning the wheels? A lot of people get heavy mud or brake dust on their wheels. It might just not be for a Jeep, it might be just for your four-wheel drive. It might be for European BMW, it might be for your Audi, Alfa Romeo, whatever, Bentley, whatever it might be. So today we're doing it. But if you guys got any other videos you'd like me to do, please either leave them on the comments below or message me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever it might be. I love making videos that actually you guys get benefit from. So today, as always, we'll be using a Bowden's Own product. Now, I've been using Bowden's Own for many years now. We're not sponsored or anything like that. Love to be one day. But um, I've been using the Bowden's Wheeler Clean for going on two years now. Um, I've used a couple of different ones in the past and you none use none in the past. Our zone is definitely the best. This, this one's the fastest and is probably the best one I've found that actually breaks down the brake dust and you also get that really cool purple haze. It's, it's crap on black wheels but when you've got white wheels especially you get this beautiful um, purple colour coming through and that's all your brake dust um, breaking down and pulling off. Now is a, this one's an updated form that's more effective and the older one, if you guys have the older one before, the, the older one actually smelled a lot like shit. It didn't smell very nice. This is an updated formula that smells a lot better. Now this is safe on all wheels. So you've got painted alloys, bullet, chrome, ceramic coated, and this is also safe on plastic dip wheels as well. So we've got painted wheels, so it's going to be fine. You can use them on plastic dip, whatever it might be. This is very safe, but very effective at um, taking off your brake dust. So this is fairly cheap, this is $25 from Super Cheap Auto. I will leave a link to the Super Cheap Auto and Bound Zone website down in the description. So if you guys live in America, overseas, somewhere you don't live in Australia, uh, you can still buy it online and they do ship all around the world. But if not, Super Cheap Auto has these and you can normally get it on discount as well. But $25 is really good. Um, and one bottle, for the Jeep obviously it takes more because they're bigger wheels. Um, but one bottle probably lasts me a couple months on weekly washes, uh, fortnightly washes, depending how I build up what brake dust your wheels are. So really easy to use. A couple shakes of the bottle. Make sure your wheels are uh, cold. Don't put them on a hot surface. Um, and also make sure your wheels are dry as well. I see a lot of people want, oh, that doesn't really work that well. Um, well, will your wheels... Doesn't really work that well. Uh, will, your, will your wheels work? Yeah. Well, put them on dry. That way it's going to break down and make sure your wheels are cold as well. So a couple shakes of the bottle. And a few squirts. Now you don't have to go ham on them. Um, a few squirts is kind of all you need to cover the entire wheel. You can already see on the actual brake caliber itself, it's already breaking down all that brake dust. Now Jeeps aren't that notorious for getting brake dust, but you can see on that it's already breaking down. This is probably uh, three weeks of brake dust build up, so you can kind of get an idea of what yours might be like. Obviously if it's a European car, a newer car, um, depending on what model, you're gonna get more brake dust and stuff like that. A lot of people don't do this. This is great for protecting your wheels, making sure your wheels are in great condition. Every time I do my wife's car, they just come out absolutely. And to clean it off, just simply get your desired brush, a separate bucket of water to be able to clean your brush. Afterwards, I always see a lot of people not cleaning either your wash mitt or your wheel cleaning brushes each time you go around your wheels. That way you're just rubbing dirty crap back into your wheel, so always clean your brush um, after each pass. Now I've got a, a selection of different brushes I use, either for the wheel, wheel arches, the face of the wheel, and also within the spokes of the wheel as well. So it's a great idea to get a few different size brushes for different applications. Now you don't have to go with the Bowden's own ones because they can be quite expensive, but just cheaper super cheap auto ones will do the trick just fine. Now after you've cleaned the face um, and the inside of the wheel, you can either finish it off with some wet dreams to make the surface hydrophobic, which will allow the surface to be a lot easier to clean next time. I've done this in the past, so my wheels are very well protected, so we don't have to do it again for another couple of months. And afterwards, after you've cleaned your car, I go back over the wheels just to dry them, just to make sure I've got every single bit of loose dirt. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video and you've got any other suggestions, Please leave it in the comments, message me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it might be. I love making content that you guys love. Um, and we've been leaving the Jeep in the garage lately, so it has been getting that dirty. 
just because fuel prices have been so high. We haven't had any uh, camping trips or anything like that planned, so it's had a bit of a break. Um, we're trying to save a bit of fuel. It's been crazy at the moment. Um, but if you guys got any suggestions for fuel saving, maybe leave in the comments below. But as always, I'll leave the product um, down below in the description, either for Super Cheap Auto and Bowden. So check out those two websites if you haven't already. And if you haven't already as well, smash the like button and subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.